Hi guys, welcome back. Finally, the exam date is here, right? August 11, 2024 and in two sections. And the one question everybody is asking like, what is this two section is meant to be like that? So it, it used to happen before. Uh, so that like INICT exam, JE, uh, so there's the two section was happened. In last year, INICT, I still remember that it was like uh, morning session was a bit difficult and afternoon was a bit you know easier i mean both you can't write it okay the limited students can write write the morning session and some can write the evening session that's it and uh, thing is that why they are doing because of the uh, date issue that what we are uh, get to know about from the uh, the reason regarding that so don't worry about that it's just nothing just an exam uh, some of you will have to write the morning some of you have to write the evening that's what uh, used to happen before about the two shift i don't know because literally NMC, NTA and nationalized exams are right now in kind of dilemma that uh, we can't understand their uh, thought process and everything. Literally is out of the box like situation. So hope you know that. So day after tomorrow they have the FMG examination. But uh, just a few hours before, uh, I mean uh, today morning we got the news like the answer key is leaked. Usually the question used to be leaked right and here the answer key is leaked something like that and there is something happened in the telegram group they they have seen something like that but i hope that is also a fake thing hope so i don't know exactly what is happening here in india so for the next 13 days you know literally you have more than one month time right now so what do you need to do all you need to do right now is just uh, do the PYQ as much as you can. This is a golden opportunity for the mid rankers. If I couldn't uh, this opportunity, I would have take some clinical branch. Like you know, so you got the chance. That's what I want to tell you. Uh, you got the chance. You have to take it. You have to do your best and uh, get good clinical branch or whatever you branch. Okay, doesn't matter. Is clinical or non clinical. Get the good branch in good. Uh, college that's the one thing that i want to tell you right now and for that you need to do all the pyqs pyq is really important and again and again i'm telling you because the exam the examiner what they do they they have a fixed uh you know kind of uh pattern is there like 60 percentage they will take from the uh, previous years 20 percentage they will take from the uh medium to like a difficulty level and rest that is a uh, really extreme difficult thing. So this is the exam pattern which is here to happen in almost every exam. They uh, used to follow this one. Teachers who are going to tell you. The one thing you should not forget is your PYQ sections. Just do the PYQ, revise it, precise it, revise it again. And the GTs. This is the most important part of your exam preparation for the NEET, FMG or INICT, whatever the examination. So for the PYQs, you need to understand that there is a lot of app out there. But one app which is... Uh, exclusively for the pyqs and uh, there's a teaching session also there and there is a, a very famous uh, youtuber out there's a doctor his uh, his advice over there using pyqs over here and also so many other doctors are also recommending this app which is really literally very good for you to uh, do the pyqs do the exams uh, for the preparation for everything so use it and this name of this app is the reflex app which is currently available in your play store and and the most important thing is that you don't need to pay like 40,000, 50,000, the most important topics and everything. So guys, please uh, go and search it and just uh, uh, take a look at one. So it's going to really going to help you to uh, prepare for your exam and get into good rank. Okay. And so for the next one month, all you need to do is that uh, make short targets and uh, achieve it and you can get the big one. That is the uh, reality, the, the consistency in studies is the most important when you are preparing for the national level examination. For that you need short short target. So when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you have to do is that make a short, uh, you know, just imagine the what are the things you are going to do, what are the things you are going to finish and what are the things that you studied yesterday. Just uh, take 10-15 um, take minutes to uh, arrange yourself for that day that's the one thing you have to do in the morning and also the night also 
uh, revise as much as you can use your uh, with your brain and then sleep and wake up again and do the same thing so in that way you can achieve something great because you are when you're doing the effort and you are not getting the result there are so much of students out there who are having issue with the they are putting the effort too much effort up there but the result is not that good because what what's the reason behind it that their effort is there but result is not not that much good because of that the effort is not efficient so you have to put some efficiently that is the most important term i want to tell you so for the efficiency you need short short goals uh, short targets so that you can achieve big thing okay that's the most important thing i want to tell you uh, in that then come to the gt part gt is also one of the most important thing because it's going to give you a real time experience of your examination so uh, when you're doing the gt please don't leave it after you completed the gt you have to uh, go through the answers you have to analyze yourself you can analyze your weak subject your strong subject and and wherever you have some doubt you have to uh, make clear your concept and everything you can analyze yourself the gt the most important thing about gt is that that give you a kind of uh, you know uh, it's, it's going to give you an analytic report of yourself like your weak part like your strong uh, subjects and everything so according to that you can uh, prepare for next gt so study the weak part and uh, revise the your your confused part and just do the gt again and uh, get the report again analyze analysis it and uh, improve it in which you can achieve some and how many gt you have to do before your examination less just one month ahead right uh, if you ask me at least two gt uh, before 15 days before your examination that's most important thing and then revise it as much as you can revise revision is the most important thing why again and again i'm telling you because when you are at exam hall nobody going to tell you how many gt you done how many hours you studied it's all about how much knowledge you can uh, use over over here you can solve the questions over here and the mark at last that's the most important thing okay so for that what you need to do is not going to be the number of gt you're doing the number of revision you are doing on the gt you have done that's the most important part you have to uh, understand um, in that way okay and also one more thing i want to tell you about the 20th book and the btr dvt all these uh, app based uh, the sections which is also and last one month is uh, literally i want to tell you it's going to give you a, a second life for your you know future those the mid rangers who are thinking okay if we didn't get the good rank we can take the non clinical something like that on who not that financially stable if you are financially stable you can take the clinical in uh, private or uh, whatever but i'm telling you to the mid rangers in uh, not that financially good uh, people for that the, for those people i'm telling you is a good opportunity for you next 13 days you can do the magic you can do the magic in, in in your future you can change your future and one thing you need to do that the consistency in your studies and also the precise precising your uh, you know your revision that's a important thing you need to understand at this point and moreover i want to tell you that uh, please avoid all the social media and don't worry about the after exam things especially the admission allotment and uh, your uh, seat and everything don't worry about it because that's a, that will happen anyway that will happen in uh, some date so all you need to do focus on exam focus on august 11th okay that's the one thing that you need to remember right now and just focus and just study okay and a part of that uh, please study all the non clinical subject also because some uh, i got some questions regarding the what about the non clinical subjects uh, so is is it uh, good to study that it's really important like what i said from the beginning the non clinical subject like uh, biochem pharma patho micro and this anatomy forensic community this this in this subject you can you can score 100 percentage because nobody going to give you any kind of a clinical scenario in it so it's going to be super easy to take 100 percentage mark on this subject so please don't avoid it use the pyq use this uh, there is certain areas out there the pyq areas there so use that and uh, make your concept clear and use the pyq to study those questions and don't get uh, loose Oh, once even a single mark from that uh, that non clinical part this is very important so that will take the ranks to really bad because the right now the competition is too high like 2 lakhs 
plus students are writing the examination and uh, clinical seat if you want in the clinical seat in good college you need to uh, need a rank less than 10,000 at least if you need a good rank, good clinical branch otherwise it's going to be super troublesome for your entire life that's what I want to tell you so go and study you have enough